Hey everybody, I have a wonderful special guest. Mindy McKnight hey is guys. here. And she technically is like coming on my couch, but we're sitting on stools. But we're not on the couch. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we're on the big couch. So tell my audience a little bit about what you do. So I'm Mindy and my channel is called Cute Girls Hairstyles, which is primarily a channel designed to just teach easy hairstyles. So it started as moms teaching their daughters, but now it's kind of morphing into like DIY hairstyles. It's like all about hairstyles. Yeah. And so, it, that's how I learned how to do a fishtail braid. So yep. thank there you very you much. You're welcome. Yeah. So I'll put the links to all of her stuff down below so you can check that out. And just like every On the Couch with Katie, I start off by asking, when did you first hear about mental health or think that mental health was a thing? Was it something in school, friends and family? I would say I started hearing about mental health probably in high school. I don't think I was really that aware of it before then, which is weird because now I think about it, I think my kids are like way more savvy with that now. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, I didn't have a lot of like, I guess, touch points to people with mental health issues then, or maybe we just didn't talk about it as much. Yeah, maybe. So I think it was probably high school when you started hearing about kids battling like depression or really like eating issues, yeah. like that type of thing. Yeah, and I think that that is kind of true. Like it's generational and it's great that we're mm -hmm. talking about it more because mm -hmm. it becomes more like of a normal conversation. And I think it does for, for me, I think that it started happening like maybe feeling bad or feeling good, yeah. like maybe in middle school. So maybe okay. a little earlier. So you were a little earlier. But I don't know if anybody talked about it. I definitely think we talk about things a little more openly now. I certainly do with my kids. Like we're way more open than like my parents were with me. Mm -hmm. So I think that's probably like an also true about mental illness as well. So the second question I have, because you have uh, five children? Six. Six. Six, Six children. Ah! Um, that's a mental health issue right there. <laughs> <laughs> could be, could be. I could see it getting a little crazy. Oh, yes. Um, what is a, a really great, easy, scheduled, everything flows type of oh, day? Oh, well, I mean, they don't really exist for one, but if they were going to exist, I would say it's like maybe like a Saturday where you get to sleep in mm. a little bit and it's just a little more chill. Like the whole vibe of the house is just a little more relaxed. Things aren't quite so high paced. Yeah. You get to have a little more like family interaction. That type of thing would be like an ideal, like mentally calm day. Yeah. Same. No filming. That would be also mentally calming. <laughs> agreed. Agreed. <laughs> and so then on the flip side, what would be like a chaotic, like terrible, unscheduled, things are happening uh, day? I think, I mean, any day they go to school because the mornings are, I always say mornings are so intense and then evenings are so intense. And then in between, if, if we have like a, a heavy day with work, like mm -hmm. we have a lot of phone calls, we have a lot of meetings or somebody's in town or, you know, things like that where it especially if it overlaps the kids coming home from school, then you're yeah. dealing with like, how do I run the carpool? How do I be mom, get them dinner? And then I also still need to be working and that type of thing. Like that's when I feel like my tension rising yeah. and you know, you're not putting the kids to bed and they're up late. And I, I feel like you, then I'm in the stress zone. Yeah, totally. Because there is a, there's a lot of moving parts and a mm -hmm. lot of things going. You want to make sure you're there mm -hmm. for them yeah. for all their events and everything, especially after school events. It could be a lot. It I is a imagine. Lot. So are there things that you do to like lower the amount of those types of days and increase the amount of nice days? I mean, we definitely try to maintain a balance. I think we try to, I always say life is teeter totter. And like the more you put on one end, the mm -hmm. more unbalanced the other end becomes. And so yeah. like you always have to be reevaluating, like, is my balance off? Like, is the teeter totter shifting way too far to one direction? And if that's the case, like, remove some of that, you know, like if it, you can give up a gym class maybe or something, yeah. you know, like whatever it is, you have to eliminate for the mental health of the whole family and definitely mental health of mom. So yeah. also we do what we actually call them mental health days. That's so funny. <laughs> like it's really weird, but we call them mental health days. And that's like, if my kids say, mom, I need a mental health day. That to me is like a signal that they're feeling overwhelmed. So at that point it's like, okay, what can we do to lower your stress? Maybe, you know, you don't have to film the video today. Maybe you don't have to go to gymnastics. Like, what can we eliminate to just give you a day to kind of have a breather? Like, go in your room and watch a, a couple episodes of TV. Just take a chill yeah. for a few minutes and just mentally, like, regroup. Yeah, and I like the analogy of the teeter-totter because yeah. we've all felt that. My mom and I actually, when we're having a hard time, call it, I'm off kilter. Oh, that's good. Which is almost yeah, exactly, exactly what that means. Yeah. And I always, when I'm feeling maxed out, I find I, I get out of anything I can get out of. Yep. I'm like, oh, I guess I don't really need to sit in on that peer support group <laughs> yeah. thing. I can get out of <laughs> that. A lot. And I just like yep. start sweeping things away. And then Sean's like, I thought you had a busy day. And I'm like, I couldn't. You're like, mental health day. That's when yeah. we say, mental health day. Yeah. And it's kind of like the unspoken law, like, 
I'm, I'm about to lose it. So mm-hmm. we're just going to not, we're going to ignore that I was a really, really bad mom today or really like bad as far as carpools go. Yeah. Like I'm just going to take a breather and be me. Yeah. And I think that that's something that's really important to remember and know for yourself. A lot of it's mm-hmm. like keeping in touch with yourself and knowing when you're off mm-hmm. kilter or mm-hmm. your, your totter's a little off. And especially because of YouTube, we work a lot of weekends, a lot of weekends and evenings and different birthdays times. and yes. anniversaries. And yep. There's not a day really, nope. unless you take a Christmas. Mental health day. Yeah. We had a video go live this year yes. on Christmas. Like we did Christmas morning and then we worked Christmas yeah. night. I watched it. Hey, well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and as every on the couch with Katie, I end with and this is my favorite question. Oh no. Is what advice would you give to a younger Mindy? Ooh. I think I would tell myself to not be so be more confident in myself, mm-hmm. I think. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know. I think I just always second questioned everything and yeah. I feel like my advice would be to just be more confident, like have confidence in myself that it's going to be okay in the end, that we're going to work it out, that I'm going to, you know, that I can be strong. I can have strong ideals. I can be a good mom, you know, like all that stuff that you just kind of have to persevere through for a while until you figure out that it works. Yeah. And it might last, or at least in my experience, it can last into your thirties. Mm-hmm. One of my favorite quotes now is life's got my back. And it was something my therapist told me. And so I wrote it down because I, I worry a lot yeah. and I question a lot. And mm-hmm. I think that's a really great message because a lot of times we worry about what's going to happen or is this going to get through this? Yeah. Can I do this? Am I destroying my children? Am I, you know, and it's like almost like you just need to have the confidence to believe that it'll work itself out in the end. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a really great message. Mm-hmm. So remember that if you're out there worrying, have a little confidence. Trust. Take a mental health day. Yeah. Life's got your back. <laughs> there you go. Thank you so much for coming on our couch and Thank sharing. Thank you for all having me on the stools. <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> and also all the links to her stuff in the description. And we did a video together, so make sure you check that out. Yep. And we will see you next time. Bye, Bye guys.